Hey, what's up, Street Talks? The Eric, the Eric from Street Photography Blog. Repping the Rico Mafia. Currently at uh, my sister-in-law's new pad. But anyways, okay, so this is kind of cool, huh? This little thing up here. Anyways, so I wanted to share with you an essay on haters. So first and foremost, I'm probably the most hated on photographer on the internet, and I can say that proudly. And I think the sad thing is a lot of us photography entrepreneurs, the reason why we're held back is we're afraid of haters. But in fact, perhaps what if we learn to judge our success via the amount of haters we have? So for, let me give you an example. If you're an average, normal photographer and you have no haters, it probably means that you're boring. Because if you're a boring person, no one's going to either really love you or really hate you. I mean, they just feel like okay with you. And in modern society, they want us to become, uh, I'll use the word, sheep person. It's like sheeple, but person. And the basic idea is that whenever people speak up their mind, which is against what the herd thinks, people feel afraid. They feel intimidated. They don't like it. And I know that for myself, I've gotten the biggest flack on the internet when I speak my mind frankly. And it's not even a matter if you're right or wrong because you cannot be right or wrong. It's all ultimately your opinion. It's more the fact that just people don't like you because whatever you're saying is contrary to what they believe in, which is totally fine because everyone is entitled to have their own opinion, I think. And now the problem is with the internet is when there's anonymous trolls or anonymous haters. Because to be frank, if people hate on me, but they're using their real identity or they say it to my face, I'm like, cool, like you disagree with me and you're hating on me. I mean, like, that's, that's fine. But I have little to no, actually no, I have no respect. Or I don't even care for people who leave anonymous critiques because they're the smallest, weakest people out there because uh, according to my best friend Nassim Taleb, philosopher, he says, whatever opinion we have in life, we must have some sort of opinion attached to it. And when you have no opinion attached to whatever you're saying, essentially you're not really entitled to have an opinion if you don't put your, your own skin in the game. Which means if you're going to hate on somebody or speak your opinion, you're going to have to deal with some sort of personal consequences. This is why no matter how good of a video game player you get, I have really i don't really care for them because with video games the worst you could just lose the game you just press restart whereas like in real war or real competitions like fighting mma ufc you could die you could get injured there's actually you have physical skin in the game and it's kind of like that's why real real reality will always be better than virtual reality because in real reality you could die and there's physical consequences, whereas with virtual reality, there's none. Anyways, and I know so, so for myself personally, when I started off, you know, everyone's like, oh, you know, Eric, you're doing such a good job. And they're like patting me on the back and they're just like very supportive. And it was really nice because, of course, all of us, we want to be loved and appreciated for doing what we're doing. But what happened is as I became more successful, as I became more influential, then all these haters started coming out of the woodwork. And of course, like naturally speaking, like my heart was crushed. Like I'm just out there, I'm trying to help people, I'm trying to be genuine, I'm trying to be useful, whatever. And all these people are hating on you. And it really, it really hurts. Like the first time I did my flash street photography video in downtown LA, I didn't think it was really that big of a deal. But then all these negative people hating on me, all the downvotes that I'm like, you know, I didn't pick up a camera for a month. And what I learned from that is that ultimately with photography, street photography, everything, ultimately all morals and ethics, it's all subjective. And you shouldn't let yourself be torn down by haters. Because once again, haters are simply honestly voicing their own opinion, which is fine. What's more important is for you to authentically say what is really on your mind without censoring yourself. And so the psychology of a generally a hater is there, they want to prop up their own self-esteem and their own ego by comparing themselves to you, specifically pushing you down. And that's why bullies are so stupid because a bully will increase their self-esteem by trying to put others down. And a bully or a hater or a troll, whatever, they're always trying to prop up their own self-esteem and their own ego by comparing themselves with others. Now, I think the true strong individual the truly magnanimous or great person is somebody who doesn't judge their own self-esteem and their own self-ego 
comparing themselves to others. They could stand on their own two feet and judge themselves according to their own internal measure of success. And taking things back to the ego, I think having an Having a strong ego, is a, it's a good thing. You want to have a strong ego. What you don't want to have to do is to feel like you have a good ego via comparing yourself with others by having people always like applaud you or you know, say nice things about you. And you certainly don't want your ego to be torn down by other people saying other negative things. And to be honest, whenever if someone ever leaves you a negative critique or comment on the internet without their real identity attached to it, just ignore it. And even if people put their real identity, just ignore it. I've discovered the best way to deal with haters on the internet is to just ignore it and not to read the comments because I know for myself, I'm an emotional human being like everyone else. If I read one negative thing, it'll put me in a shitty mood for almost like 24 hours. Like it's, it's really negative. And for me, I want to put out positivity and I want to put out good messages. So I abstain from reading comments. Um, totally and ultimately remember that a great fate and a great destiny awaits you and you could only have a great life or a great destiny if you take risks if you take chances you're bold there's a saying from my um from a entrepreneur peter thiel who i admire greatly he says it's better to be ridiculously bold than to risk triviality because people hate boring incremental upgrades be bold be crazy be audacious be you and never like uh, dj khaled says never play yourself have infinite belief in yourself and to, if someone ever hates, hates on you take it as a compliment it just means that you're not boring right have more confidence and if you want to learn more about photography entrepreneurship check out photography entrepreneurship 101 peace out